An enchantress disguised as a beggar woman offers a rose to a cruel and selfish prince in exchange for shelter from a storm. When he refuses, she reveals her identity and, for the prince's arrogance, she transforms him into a beast and his servants into household objects. She casts a spell on the rose and warns the prince that the spell will only be broken if he learns to love another and be loved in return before the last petal falls, which would occur at the beginning of his 21st year, or he will remain a beast forever. Several years later, in a nearby village, Belle, the book-loving daughter of an eccentric inventor named Maurice, dreams of adventure. She frequently tries avoiding Gaston, a narcissistic hunter who wants to marry her because of her beauty. On his way to a fair to showcase his latest invention, an automatic woodchopper, Maurice gets lost in the forest and seeks refuge in the beast's castle, but the beast imprisons him for trespassing. When Morris's horse returns without him, Belle ventures out searching for him and finds him locked in the castle dungeon. Belle offers herself as the beast's prisoner in Morris's place, and the beast releases him. Belle befriends the castle's servants, Lumiere the Candelabra, Cogsworth the Clock, Mrs. Potts the Teapot, and her son Chip, the Teacup. When she wanders into the Forbidden West Wing and finds the Rose, the Beast catches her and, in a violent rage, sends her fleeing from the castle. In the woods, she is ambushed by a pack of wolves, but the Beast rescues her and is injured in the process. As Belle nurses his injuries, a rapport develops between them and as time passes, they begin to fall in love and the Beast begins to change his ways. Meanwhile, Maurice returns to the village and fails to convince the townsfolk of Belle's predicament. Hearing Morris's statements about the beast, Gaston hatches a plan, he bribes Monsieur Dark, the warden of the town's insane asylum, to have Maurice locked up as a lunatic, with no one to support her, Belle would have no choice but to marry Gaston. However, before they can act, Maurice leaves for the castle to attempt a rescue alone. After sharing a romantic dance with the beast, Belle uses the beast's magic mirror to check on her father and sees him collapsing in the woods. The beast releases her to save Maurice, giving her the mirror as a souvenir. After Belle takes her father to the village, a band of villagers led by Gaston arrives to detain Maurice. Belle uses the mirror to show the beast to the townsfolk, proving her father's sanity. Realizing that Belle loves the beast, a jealous Gaston has her and her father locked in the basement and rallies the villagers to follow him to the castle to slay the beast. With the help of Chip, who arrived at their house as a stowaway, and Morris's wood chopping machine, Maurice and Belle escape and rush back to the castle just as a heavy thunderstorm starts. During the battle, the beast's servants fend off the villagers. Gaston attacks the beast in his tower, who is too depressed from Belle's departure to fight back, but regains his spirit upon seeing Belle return. He 
He defeats Gaston but spares his life before reuniting with Belle. However, Gaston fatally stabs the beast with a knife and then slips and falls to his death. The beast dies in Belle's arms before the last petal falls. But Belle tearfully professes her love to the beast, and the spell is undone, reviving the beast and restoring his human form along with all his servants and his castle. The prince and Belle host a ball for the kingdom, where they dance happily.